All right, the reason why J-Man, I've been, and we don't fight along with uh, Benjamin Salisbury and Tui Wong, Lil' Kim, it, or Tin Kim, is because the army coming in is headed for the dad's family. Not Bao, but Bao fucking could not greet it and fought with him. So, that's what he said. But they probably stole money, ordered that shit, and forced Bell's family to fight and got killed off instead of t their dad's family. So, <coughs> when J. Matt, because the amount of people and the caliber will lose the we fought. And even if we won, it's not worth a win. We're going to get into it time and time and time again. So the cost of war, when they're on the wrong, are way too much. So it's not worth it. It's like using power to overpower it. But make note that Bao is a brainwash. And they brainwash a lot of the heads that gave him the okay. So they probably stole money, signed shit off, and he doesn't even know about it. And they forced people to fight, and now he's going to take the blame. Once he take the blame, uh, they hit up every fucking one of his kid, not just the one involved, Salisbury and Benjamin Salisbury and <coughs> Lil' Kim. And even Kung, Dicky Chung's type, and Quinfi, Quifi. So, we're staying out of it. Goon that work for me is the one, and the other ones that work for me stay out of it. They're not looking for us. Because if they target the wrong person and not just the one that linked to Bao there, they'll lose the war. But it, it costs us, so it's no good either. So, I'll take a, you let me and my family stay out of it, but I say nicely and just like, j man bought it, not for the girl, it's just her safety not to look cool, just her fear of my mind, not to look cool, it, when they kidnap and brainwash Bell, he's sitting there, and he can, they let him think about two movements. They blame him for fucking ten movements. They killed off his whole family. That's why we didn't fight it. So leave him alone and it should be cool. But call my grandma. Make sure she asks me. Or she understands that she asked me for a favor so that not not her precious bow don't die, but all the ten thousand other ones don't die. That's fine. Cause when bow think and not, he not gonna be able to get killed, but they'll kill five fucking thousand of her grandkids instead. But he doesn't think that when he go to war or he he okay's the like two movements or if he sit there and he he's gonna fucking get cocky. That's why. He sit there, like, he's not gonna die. He's sitting in a fucking room like this while 10,000 men are out there securing. We'll get hit off from behind. So, <clears throat> that's what I think about. Then he moved forward with two fucking kids, Benjamin Salisbury and fucking Tui Wong for robbing every fucking person and sending money back to the dad's house then they'll fucking kill off 5,000 men no I'm gonna take my fucking 9,000 men that would listen and then when he they brainwash him say it was okay they won against him if he didn't move forward well, probably like what 100 
hundred. So that's the thing. A hundred casualty or fucking a thousand or two thousand or fucking five thousand. I'll take fucking minimize the least. It's less than if we went to war. If we don't fight it less. In the long run too. In like fucking five years, last five years. Other houses were gone, like a hundred thousand, fifty thousand gone. We had like ten thousand. But I think that's when he did it on his own. So, chill. But that's an example. When his kids are wrong, and they brainwash him, and generals are screaming and yelling at him, don't move forward with him. Well, if y'all didn't, we survived, and we found out he got brainwashed by two fucking kids from another house. Two young adults that fight for their dad and stole, like, what, 50 billion from our house a year? Over? Fifteen hundred million a year. I include everybody's money though. Alright, when K Hong, fair in my mind. Here.